Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this AV Access Dual Monitor HDMI KVM switch. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. Here on the back we have some different features. I'll go over a couple of them. So this supports HDMI 2.0 and USB 3.0, has three USB 3 ports. It supports button switching and hotkey switching to switch between computers, and it has microphone and headphone ports. On the bottom we have a diagram. So if you're not familiar with how a KVM works, the idea is that you have one keyboard and mouse and monitor, and you can share those between multiple computers. So this KVM is nice because this supports dual monitor setups. So if you want to have a dual monitor setup, you can use this. So you connect each PC to this, and then you connect the two monitors, keyboard and mouse, and then you can also connect peripherals to it. So let's get this open. So here's the manual. So you want to read through that for all of the features. Talks about the different ports. So this has a hotkey function. You want to make sure you're plugged into the USB 1.1 port to use the hotkey function. So these are the different hotkeys it supports. You have tab, left control, right control, and caps lock. So you can press hotkey one or hotkey two, or you can press hotkey left, hotkey right, and I will demonstrate that later. And here are some specs here. Now this will support 4K displays. Also supports HDMI audio. So here's the KVM switch. Get it opened. So this is made of metal, so it's very sturdy. Here we have the front. So this has two modes on it. it has KVM and USB modes. So you can have this where it will only switch the keyboard mouse and not the monitors, or you can switch the keyboard mouse and monitor. This is the button to switch. This is where you plug the keyboard in, and this is where you can plug your peripherals in. And then you have your microphone and headphones. Then on the back side, we have power. This is where we plug the computer in. So you plug HDMI from the computer, and then you plug USB from this to the computer. So that's for your keyboard, mouse, and peripherals. And that's USB 3.0, so you're gonna get that higher speed. And then this is where we plug our monitors in. So this comes with USB cables, power cable. We have four HDMI cables, and this is the power brick. And the power on here is threaded, so it doesn't come disconnected easily. So I'll get all of these unwrapped. Okay, so I'm going to get this set up. I'll connect the power. I'm not going to plug it in quite yet. Now I had trouble threading this on here and I actually just had to kind of separate it. I just pulled on this plastic and the metal and just snapped just a slight bit. So to connect this up to a computer, you want to have the two HDMI cables and the USB cable. The USB cable is around six feet and the HDMI cable is around five feet. So here I have the first computer I'm going to connect up. It's a Mac mini. I currently have this in a dual monitor setup. So I'll connect this up as USB host one and I'll plug it into the USB port on the back of the computer. Now for my keyboard mouse, I have a wireless keyboard mouse that has this dongle. I'll plug that into the USB 1.0 here. So if you have a wired keyboard and mouse, you want to plug the keyboard into the USB 1.1 and then your mouse can go in any of the other ports. Next, I'm going to plug HDMI 1A and HDMI 2A, and I'll connect those to the back of the computer into the HDMI ports. Now this computer only has one HDMI port, so I'm using a display port adapter for the other one. Now I'll take the HDMI from the monitors and I'll plug those into monitor A and monitor B. This cord's a little short. I'm going to use an extension only temporarily. Okay, so I'll plug this in and then I'll power this on. So this switch presses in and then it lights up. And here we have the dual monitors. So it has a little keyboard set up here on my Mac, I'll do that. So I have a window here and I can pass that between the monitors. So now we're on par with what we had set up before, but the whole point of a KVM is that we can hook up multiple computers. So now I'm going to connect up a second computer that's sitting off to the side here, and then I'll demonstrate the KVM switching feature. So there's a lot of wires coming out of here. It can be very helpful to label these on both ends. So I'm going to press the switch button here, and then I'll turn on the PC. And here we have the dual monitor set up here. So if I want to switch back to the Mac, I'll press the switch button. and we're back on the Mac. So as opposed to pressing that button, you can also press tab two, and that will switch to the Windows PC. And then we'll do tab one, and I can switch back. And I left that uncut so you can see the amount of time it takes. So it's very fast. 
So you could install the KVM out of sight and then just switch it using the keyboard. Now one nice feature of this KVM is it supports USB 3.0. So here I have a USB 3.0 flash drive, I'll plug it in. So this has mounted on the desktop. I'll open up Blackmagic speed test here. I'll test the speed. So for our write speed, we got 62 megabytes per second, and our read speed, we got 381 megabytes per second. Now USB 2.0 taps out at 400 megabits per second. This is megabytes per second, so it's a lot faster. Now I do want to point out when I switch to the second computer, I do want to unmount this, so I'll eject it. I'll switch over to the PC. And here we have the drive mounted on the PC. So I'll want to eject it when I switch between computers. So depending on what you're doing, you may or may not want to plug a flash drive into these ports. You may want to plug them directly into the computer. Now there are other things you can plug in here, like printers and webcams that will switch between and you don't have to eject those devices. So I have webcam over here. I could plug that in there and it will connect up to whichever computer I'm actively using. Now we can also switch this to the USB mode. And here on the left, we have the Windows monitor. On the right, we have the Mac monitor. And my mouse is currently working on the Windows monitor. I'll hit tab one. And now we're on the Mac monitor. Now, I don't know if this still thinks it has a dual monitor set up. Let me look. So the Mac still thinks it has a dual monitor set up. So if you're using this mode, you want to disconnect the second monitor. So if you're working on two computers at the same time, you want to keep the monitors up for each. So in this situation, we have two monitors. Each monitor has a separate computer and we're sharing the keyboard and mouse between them. So here we have Windows and here we have Mac and that switches incredibly quickly. And I just got a message that the flash drive did not eject properly. <laughs> So that's the AV Access Dual Monitor HDMI KVM switch. I really like the quality of this. It feels nice. It's made of metal, has great functionality on it. You have those two modes for having a traditional KVM setup with dual monitors. And then you have the mode where you can use each monitor for its own computer and just switch the keyboard and mouse. I like that the USB on here also supports USB 3.0. So you can have your computers tucked away. You can have this on your desktop. You can plug a flash drive in here and you can have fast transfer to the computer. Of course, this also has that headphone and microphone port on there also. So this can make for a very clean setup if you have dual computers with dual monitors. And then of course you can press the button or use the hotkey on the keyboard. I'm guessing most people will use the hotkey on the keyboard. It's very convenient. You can switch between computers without taking your hands off the keyboard. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.